Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Stone, and I'm the host of The Daily Dose. And I would like to welcome you to the next day of your new life. That's right. See, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. What will you guys do with yours today? Well, I tell you what, today is January 22nd, 2019, the year of consistency. And I know that usually I'm like, consistency! Well, today, guys, I got to tell you, I got to get high off of my own supply. I usually invite you guys to the Daily Dose party, and I usually sit behind the counter, and I watch you guys, and I just pop out the pills to all you guys, and I see you taking them, and you're having a good old time, and I just sit back there and watch. But today, I'm coming from around the counter, and I'm coming to party with y'all. I hope that's okay because Dr. Stone needs the antidote. You know who else needs the antidote? It's your neighbors, your co-workers, your chickens, your pets, your dogs, your cats. Everybody needs the antidote. I saw somebody walking the dog past my house the other day, and you know dogs got that strong nose. They be sniffing stuff out, and they, he looked at my house. I got the little ring doorbell, so I was looking at the camera. He set my little motion off, and he was sniffing and sniffing and walking. He looked at my house and said... That smells like the antidote in there, so he need his antidote too. They know what's up. But in order for everybody to get the antidote, I need all of my dosers to do me a favor on the count of three. It's just like passing out a flyer or something. You remember back in the day they had those cardboard flyers, the little paper flyers you had to pass out to everybody to get the invite to the party? Well, in 2019, we got this thing called the share button, and I need you to one, two, three, Hulk smash that share button. Because today's topic is going to be lit. It's going to be so lit that I got to get high off of my own supply, y'all. And what's funny about that is I actually just watched Friday just this uh, past weekend. It was on Netflix. I was like, holy crap, they got Friday, next Friday, Friday after next. So I took it all the way back and I watched Friday. You guys like Friday? I like Friday. Comment. Hit the like button. Hit the love button. You remember Friday with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker and Bernie Mac. A whole lot of good cast members in that. But it made me feel good watching that. But today... On the Daily Dose Show, again, I know you're wondering, you're like, Marcus, what? You got to get high off your own supply? That's right. Today, Marcus needs the antidote because we are going to talk about choices and how important choices are. But before I do, Lyric, tell him what to do. Well, let's go ahead and get right into the antidote. The antidote is defined as a medicine taken or given to counteract a particular poison. Now, Marcus, these people woke up early. They came to your show, The Daily Dose, to get the antidote. Hit them with the antidote. All right, today we are going to be doing spoken word spoken word dose with the visual aid. So let's get right into it. Today's dose may just shock you guys a little bit. Let's get right into it. So... Today I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to talk about choices. So today, I actually chose to have a different tone for the Daily Dose. I hope you stick with me because this is a very, very, very important dose. I also chose to hit the snooze button a few times this morning. I know, I know, I know. Shame. Shame. (laughs) I chose that because although 2019 is all about consistency, I know that mental health is also important and that my daily structure of waking up at 4 a.m. every single day with no snooze button will eventually cause some stress in my life. So one day every once in a while it's okay to sleep in a little bit because that extra two hours of sleep ultimately that'll make me happy because that's that's what life's about right being happy. You know it's not really fun if you can't really enjoy life and I want to enjoy life. Yesterday I chose to volunteer at a middle school and work the concession stand and I got an opportunity to work with some awesome kids I mean flat out awesome here's a picture of Ellie or Eli I can't remember I think it's Eli it's Eli Grace Logan and Kale and that made me happy it really did I mean how could you not be happy look at these kids faces how could you not be happy working with kids like those you know when I left there I left the I went to go volunteer the concession stand at middle school and I left there pretty late last night. There were two basketball games. And when I left there and went back to the dealership to get in my car, my driver's side door was frozen stuck. I mean, it was about one degrees outside. Like one degree. I'm sitting there pulling on it. I'm thinking I'm practically about to break this handle to this door. 
I mean, it was cold outside, like literally one degree. I couldn't have gotten mad. I could have gotten real mad. I could have went inside, took more time, found another car. But you know what? I made the choice to just smile. <laughs> I said, here it is, one degree outside. I'm out here. My hands are freezing. I can barely get in this car. This door won't open. But I made the choice to smile in that moment. And then I ended up getting in the passenger side. It opened for me. And I hopped right on over that console. When I got home, I couldn't get out the driver door again. I think it's still frozen right now. I'll be honest. It might still be frozen right now. But I didn't get mad. I just smiled again and hopped right on over to the passenger side and got out. Now this morning, I chose not to write in my Daily Dose Planner. The Rise and Grind Planner. Y'all know I mix those up a lot. I love Glenn Lundy. This morning, I chose not to write in a planner yet just to see how my morning would go. And guess what? I'm still alive. And it's not the end of the world. I also chose not to work out this morning. Who knows? Maybe I'll do it when I get home tonight. Or who knows? Maybe I won't. Whatever choice I make, though, I know I have to live with the consequences of my actions. Now, that's, a, that's very important. I choose to know that accountability is important. And whatever happens in my life, I blame myself first. Like yesterday when I chose to, to make a daily goal that said eat healthy options for the day. And I did good all day. I'm talking breakfast, I did good. My snack, I did good. Lunch, I did good. My dinner, I did good. All the way up until it's time to work that concession stand. And I was surrounded by all them snacks. Yes, I made the choice to have pulled pork nachos and a Butterfinger. And I'm making a choice to tell you all right now that it was good. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was really good. I made the choice to tell you all this because I want to be transparent with you and let you know that I'm not perfect. I'm a human being just like you and I will make mistakes. I will fail. Yes, Dr. Stone will fail. I will fail often, but I will fail forward. You better believe the next time I go to volunteer at that concession stand that I'm going to have me a happy meal first. I'm not talking about a McDonald's one. I'm going to have me a happy, healthy meal first. And I'm going to drink a whole bunch of water before I go in because I choose to learn from my mistakes. Because life isn't always about what happens. It's about how you react to what happens. I make the choice to live my life 24 hours at a time and enjoy it to the fullest. And if a Butterfinger is going to make me happy then I'm going to have a Butterfinger. I know that it'll throw my goals off a little bit. So instead of doing nothing about it, what I'll do is I'll work out an extra 10 minutes. Now we back on track. And I'll probably smile and say, was it worth it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I got the best of both worlds. I got the Butterfinger and I got my butt kicked for another extra 10 minutes. It was worth it. Now after this daily dose is done, I got a choice to make. I can go back to sleep. I can sit on my phone and reply to comments. I can lay there and do absolutely nothing. I can hop on Instagram and whatever social media accounts that I have. I can research something. Or I can hit my planner up. I can do my gratitude and my goals. I can take 10 minutes and get some yoga in real quick. I can send a positive, uplifting message to somebody. I can write down 10 things that I'm thankful for. I can create a new daily goal. I can continue my monthly and my yearly goal. Let me ask you, Doses, what choice do you think I'll make? What choice? Literally, what choice do you think I'll make? I'll read it in the comments later. Well, if you know me, you know the way my goals are set up. <laughs> I will not lose. So today's choice was just a tiny obstacle, guys. And I'm not going to beat myself up over it. Because I'm choosing to go around this obstacle. It's not going to stop me from accomplishing my goals. I promise you that. It's not going to stop me. Not a single bit. As a lot of people say, this too shall pass. Do me a favor, guys. Join the Daily Dose group on Facebook. It looks like this. After this dose is over, head on over and type it in the search bar, The Daily Dose Show and join the group so I can reach out to the masses. And again, if you're, I know a lot of people talk about the shirts. The website is live, thedailydosestore.com. Check out the store so you can get you some swag. You guys have been asking for it. I finally delivered. I'm not going to pester you about it. I'm just going to move on. If you're new to the Daily Dose and somebody tags you on this, 
Go to my profile, hit the following button, and hit C first so you guys always can catch the dose. If you can't catch it live, you can catch it in the feed and check out the outro. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose. I hope you got your antidote today, your daily dose of positivity, inspiration, and motivation. Check me out every Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time Zone on Facebook Live. And don't forget to Hulk smash that share button. Remember, guys, you will fail. But fail because you took risk, not because you didn't. I'm just here to make the world smile and change people's lives. I hope you enjoyed the antidote today. Now I got to get back to my goals. Y'all have a fantastic day.